What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Boom, boom, what do we want to do today? Hunter. Because someone did ask for a magic hunter run. And uh, I've been trying to do it lately and just haven't really gotten a run that I liked to do it on. And also, let's bring along Swordsman. Because believe it or not, magic Swordsman is also very viable. Which is kind of ironic when you think about it. Because, uh... Back in the day, he was a magic skull, believe it or not, for one patch cycle. Our boy's been through a lot. I don't, like, for the new players who are, uh, <clears throat> you know, just getting into this game, uh, Swordsman has seen many shapes and forms over the years. He's been, like, the most changed skull by a lot. I really actually... For my money, the best uh, Swordsman ever was was when he was a magic skull for one patch. It was, like, I think one point... Four, one, I, it, it, I think it was 1.4. And then they made the uh, the item and inscription update and they added in bleed as a status. And they uh, changed him back to a bleed skull. Which isn't to say Swordsman bad for the record. He's actually very good, but I just liked him best when he was a magic skull. Excuse me. And back then I didn't even know the magic of mixed damage. Like I hadn't had that giga brain ascension yet so i didn't even ever get to build a mixed damage uh, swordsman from that era see now that's a thing any modders out there modern old swordsman that'd be fucking dope i don't even know how you get the files though <clears throat> you know what i'd really like i thought we talked about this a long time ago but it bears repeating someone who downloaded this game a long time ago and then, like, got busy in life and, like, you know, didn't uh, get on Steam anymore. And they never updated their, uh, their their Skull files. So they have, like, the 1.0 version of Skull just sitting on their machine. And then they just, like, take that and they upload it to the internet for everyone to enjoy. That'd be so sick. I, there has to be a computer out there that has it. Like, there just has to be. Someone who just played the game a long time ago and then like got busy with their life and never logged on to update it And somehow that person just somehow sees this video and they're like that could be me The way you would have to do it though is you, before you launch steam You would have to go offline because steam will like automatically start trying to update the game a and then you like um, You you doubt you like take the files from your steam app folder I don't know why I'm saying this like someone's gonna fucking hear me and do it like this person does not actually exist And if they do exist, they're not watching my content, but I don't know just and also I should be focusing on the game This is actually pretty gnarly. Hang on. I'll, I'll continue the bit here in a second It's really hard to deal with the uh, The guy down there It's like a horrific combination of like a million different things happening right now. This might be the worst thing I've ever seen in Act 1 Part 1, and I I, I, do, I am not even joking when I say that. Like, unironically, I don't think I've ever experienced something more, like, awful in terms of, like, Dark Elite combinations. You had that guy fucking shielding the the minions that were spawning. <laughs> and yet, we, we carry on with our reassembly intact. Ooh, that would have been fucking terrible if that dog took me out. I guess this guy can still take me out. Alright, I can continue the bit now. So, where was I? I'll just start over with the instructions. So, if you're this guy, you if you think you could even possibly be this guy, just somehow. What you do is, go offline, launch Steam. Go into the, uh, right, or actually, go offline and then launch Steam. Right click, skull, properties, installed files browse and then you'll uh you'll be in the skull folder click the up you know like to the uh <clears throat> that moves your your current directory forward and you'll see the skull uh folder and then you just copy and paste that maybe like zip it or rar it and then put it on the internet and we can all play old school skull together so if you even think you could possibly be that guy just give it a consideration please and thank you because I never got to experience really old Skull the Hero Slayer. I started playing this game at 1.3. Which was a good update to start, but... Skull has gone through so many changes over its existence. 
<clears throat> it'd be uh, like playing a completely different game. Um, sure. Let me drink some water real quick, too. I had to check, like, I had a horrific moment of realization there. I thought I forgot to mute, and uh, I was gargling the water to get it, like, in my throat, and I thought y'all heard that shit. That was, like, pure terror. Thankfully, I uh, did all the things I needed to do. But that was very scary. Anyways, um, I thought about buying Brawl on the pedestal there, and maybe I should have. But, um, like, one way to get to, oh, we have Brawl. Oh, I did buy Brawl on the pedestal. <laughs> oh my god, Dementia Hacks. It's happening. Fucking Dementia Hacks, dude. But this is one way to do Magic uh, Hunter. I'd rather... Or I guess I'd like to have both. But um, if I'm doing Magic Hunter, my goal here is going to be... Uh, um, Invisible Knife, of course. And technically, you could do stun magic hunter, because hunter does have stun. Very good stun, actually. Um, on his swap. It's one of the best stun sources in the game. Alright, what a hellish Act 1 Part 1. That was, like, completely and utterly chaos. But, uh, we're through it. <clears throat> Kaboom Bomber shows up. I don't think so, buddy. You know, I am a fan and all, but you are a little... You know, I, I rely on Kaboom Bomber from time to time. Very powerful. Um, but we got to see some new shit, you know? Can't play Kaboom Bomber constantly all the time. Okay, that is... Act, what is up with this Act 1? Why is, like, the most heinous, horrible shit constantly happening? Can I have a break? Holy fuck, man. Like, this is Attack of the Dark Elites. They are out for blood today. <clears throat> I'm actually going to do something smart here. Watch me. Insta-kill everything little demonstration for you of the hunter swap and that's not even its full power guys it gets better by a lot this is another hell room Alright, I think this is probably the last room before the shop. Just based on my estimate. <clears throat> Let's see if I'm correct. Yup. I got that dog in me, sometimes. Uh, we don't need that. Yeah, I'll grab it though, why not? It's the best thing there, and uh, it has brawl on it. Alright, give me a good legendary. That's a... It's like direction building, I guess. We can now take that. We'd be pretty happy with it. Now I wish I had that uh, bomber, though. Wouldn't mind having a mage here. We don't really have good arson application yet, so that's not really going to be doing too much. But it's still better than nothing. Always be swapping. I can't believe I have the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, Warrior's Pauldrons? Yeah. Dude, this is like the giga noob item, not to insult anyone. But like, this is like, back in the day, I don't know if it's still like that. I guess new players can attest to it if you rely on uh, Warrior's Pauldrons. But like, all the early victories, like whenever people would, uh, would post their skull victory screens back in the day, they always had this. 
this and Dark Priest Robes. Uh, back in the day, Dark Priest Robe was actually good because, like, not everything dealt a bajillion damage all the time, constantly. And you could, uh, actually make use of the shield it gives you. Whereas nowadays, that's just not true. And also, the fucking requirement to get the shield up is so stupid. The fact that the game expects you to be at 30 HP in the Dark Mirror. How has that item gone untouched? They've buffed and nerfed so many things. And that item has remained the same. It should be percent based. Then it's actually usable. But like, being at 30 HP in the Dark Mirror is like... Very hard to pull off. Excuse me. I apologize. My bad, geez. What's my damage? It's not bad for Yigi. This is just a very strange build right now. It's kind of all over the place. It's like, yeah, I'm Arson. No, wait. No, no, no. I'm Stun. I'm Bleed, actually. I'm Brawl. <laughs> I'm just the Omni status. Like it's custom items, and we're playing with the uh, Queen of Sadism. We're definitely getting a Yigi ult. I don't know if y'all can tell. Yigi ult to the max. Bye. A little annoying, you know? But that's the whole thing with uh with the Yiggy. Is he just kinda gets in your way. <laughs> Nothing else to it. Uh wow. Absolute trash just the whole way through. If anything, I'll take the training necklace. But that is just giga garbage. You hate to see it. Give me a good curse to make up for it, please. Well, that is a good curse, but it's not a curse you will ever see me take. Because that curse uh, makes the watching the game a lot worse. I used to take it all the time, but um, I don't know. There was just like, I took it in the 1.8, like the my, my debut 1.8, like Alexander fight. And, um, it, uh, it, it kind of made the view of watching it terrible. Someone made a comment about it, and I remember just thinking, that is, like, so fucking correct. Like, it, it's not like this is one of my regular viewers. My regular viewers don't care so much because they, like, already know what's happening behind the screen. But this was, like, a new viewer who was just, like, in the algorithm, and, uh, they said that, and I was like, that is such a good point. So I've made a, a point to never take it again after that. Because it really, like, you can't see shit when that's uh, on. Though I will say, I would not have won that run with Elliot, so that's also worth pointing out. <laughs> like, we got to see the, the end on my first upload for 1.8 because of that, but still, at what cost, right? At what cost? A very real cost. Is this the shop? It is. We are oh, there he is. Okay. It's looking a little uh, hot in here, guys. I don't know if it's just me, but getting a little hot in this room a little bit. It's not even a terrible prince's box. This can go. I'll take the bone shards. That's good. Okay, it's starting to come together, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. 
starting to see something forming here. I don't know if this is quite the magic hunter run that was uh, thought when the run request was. I'm sure they want to see like item, uh, like, you know, like crit items. That's like what you expect when you think magic hunter, but this is working. Technically, Hunter is being magic. <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, open the chest first. Whenever there's a chest even close to a door, it's a good idea to just open it before you, uh, you know, open the the door or get collect the gold that opens the door. Because there's like very annoying, uh, not really glitches, I guess, but just like negative interaction between hitboxes, where it's like you can be tr like you think you're standing on the chest to open it, but you're just like an inch to the right, and then the game uh, leaves the room before you can open the chest. It's very stupid. So you better just play around that happening and uh, go ahead and open that shit. Judgment. Is the Gatling Gunner dead? I think so. Yeah. Nice. Excuse me again. I gotta start muting. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm getting lazy. It's rude to do that to my audience. Though some of y'all like it. Some of y'all are freaks. People in my Twitch chat like it. They're fucking weirdos. <gasps> I don't know why that scared me so much. It's not like that was gonna like really do anything to me. But like, that just scared me, man. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I was very scared. We really need a good arson applicator. Uh, I don't know. This is like a fine arson applicator, the inner flame. Just gotta swap often. But I wouldn't mind a better one. The, uh, the mage is gonna be doing pretty good arson application. But I really am looking for more. The whole thing with arson, by the way, um, the, the, your goal with Arson, especially if you have um, uh, Cursed Live Embers, but generally just across the board, your goal with Arson is to just apply it as much as possible. Because when you apply Arson, for whatever reason, if an enemy already had Arson on them, the application of the Arson counts for the effect of like when uh, at the end of the burn duration. So like reapplying Arson ends the duration of the previous Arson and allows you to uh, very rapidly cause explosions, which ideally later on in the run we'll be seeing more than where we're at right now. The arson application is fairly slow right now, which is weird. I don't know exactly why that is. It might just be because like early mage doesn't apply it very often. But at the same time, like we are missing some key items for arson. And also, we need Arson 4 as well. It's like a main thing we're going to be uh, trying to get, obviously. But That took forever. I thought that takes so long. Our damage is good. I think we're just slow. Once I upgrade this mage to unique, it'll get better, I believe. You know, I don't respect Arc Demon at all. I'm just going to take the Bone Shards. It's not a very good Quint. Very hard to use. It's very a uh, high cooldown. <clears throat> and it doesn't even do good damage when you uh, land it exactly correctly. I don't know. Disrespect. Full intention. Not a fan. Let's see if the arson application is going a little faster now. One thing we definitely need on Mage, by the way, is we want Mana Cycle. Or Mana Tech, I mean. Mage is like one of those characters that has like extremely slow casting speeds. 
with really long casting time, much like the uh, the Dark Paladin. So with the, when it comes to that and playing this character efficiently, you just need it. Um, which is going to be a little hard to get. I, I did miss the Manatech Cogwheel earlier, which kind of sucks. That's like a common that I often keep to the end of a run when I'm playing Arson Mage. Hopefully I see it again. I wasn't fully committed to Arson earlier is why I skipped it. It's already starting to pick up a little bit though. Hopefully this next shop gives us like a ton of uh, of Arson items so we can just like send this run into the stratosphere. Stop that. Uh, we don't need her, so we're just going to let her out of her cage. Run along now. Why does it look like she's still bound, by the way? This sprite has always confused me. Also, uh, a funny little little reference here. You see this mirror she's holding? For this, for the old, or the newbies... This used to be an item in the game, and I literally cannot even remember what it did. I think it was an Absolute Zero item, although Absolute Zero wasn't a thing. Freeze was a thing. I don't remember uh, what that old Freeze inscription was called, but I remember it didn't do anything interesting. The real uh, old heads who have been in this game for a while can tell you just how bad the inscription system in this game used to be. It was, it was really bad. <clears throat> One of the best updates Skull ever got was 1.5, which completely overhauled uh, the entire game. Basically made it a new game, in my opinion. There we go. That is good. Oh, baby. Okay, it's coming together, guys. It's coming together. Y'all were maybe a little skeptical up to this point. However, we're about to absolutely shoot off. Shit's about to get real. Real, real, real fast. These are like some of my favorite arson items that I have. Only, uh, well, I guess the, the main thing we're missing now is the, uh, the mana tech. Still very important to have. Hello, genie. I don't know if I want, um... Uh, Hunter to be my partner, but I, at the same time, I don't even know who I want as a partner. On the low, I wish I took the Frost Skull we saw earlier. Because Frost is uh, just a generally good skull across the board. Yo! Okay, we're going to hold on to Arson uh, 5 for a little bit, which is completely fine. Free up the pedestal for later. Um, that's a huge get. That's so massive. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I saw a common chest and wasn't pissed about it for once. That's so sick. This is a run where I get everything I could ever want ever. It's also bizarre to be excited about seeing the fucking Manatech Cogwheel, but like on Mage, especially, well, exclusively Arson Mage. I think that's the only character you want to run this item on ever. It goes from a fucking weird, kind of stupid, useless item to a uh, actually goaded item. You see those explosions off the screen, by the way? They aren't happening anymore, but they were happening on the left. That's where the other sister goes when um, she's not on screen. And uh, if you have, like, I think it might only be Arson where you can see it, but it might work with others. But, like, the explosions from, like, the uh, Arson reset is uh, something you can see when she's off screen, which is pretty funny. I don't even care about riding the merry go rounds They can't do shit to me. And also, I gotta remember to die here. If anyone's worth... Because I, I do get the questions uh, from time to time, and I don't mind the questions, but I do like to try and get ahead of them. Uh, the, and I, I've been saying this a lot lately. I'm sure some people are getting tired of hearing it, but it's just for someone who's new to my channel. The reason you die on purpose is... Um, there are certain items in the game that activate if you've uh, lost a life recently or not recently at all i should say um and uh i'm just kind of getting ahead of that basically like if i find uh 
the items, there's only three. It's Irresistible Suggestion, which is the Courage Omen, Howling Egg, which is the Wisdom Omen, and um, uh, Olive Tree Cudgel, which is a DLC Courage item. One of the best items in the entire game. So it's really nice and useful to have it. Not that, I, I don't even know if I would take it here. Because we aren't really doing mixed damage, but um, even though it's Courage and it mostly scales physical damage, it also has amp attached to it, which is universal. Like it amps your magic damage as well. Bit of a quirked up item for, the oh, I didn't die. Oh shit. Fuck. I got too distracted talking about Olive Tree Cudgel. Uh, I can die on the way to the shop and that should be okay. It'll be all right. That's a Medusa. I'll be taking my Medusa. My favorite Quint. Uh, Spirit Negotiator. The problem with Spirit Negotiator is it's... We're lowering our doors and we don't have gold percent gain. It becomes a little hard to get rid of it. Do I care? Uh, What am I looking for? I guess is the better question. I do need Mana Tech, but we only need one more... Manatech item technically. I don't think we need Spirit of Negotiator. It's a good curse, but we just don't need it. Our item quality is already really high. Basically, you take Spirit of Negotiator if you're looking if you're if your build isn't done yet and you like are looking for a lot of items. Um Spirit of Negotiator is good then. But like our build is just about finished. And I'm absolutely taking this damage. Wait, why didn't I take that damage? Did I? I can't tell. Look how slow our fucking casting is, man. It's so fucking insane. This is why you need mana tech on this character. It's so desperate. Uh, technically speaking, um, like, uh... The Arachna Shrine is also, I think, enough to make it better. But really, you want both. You know, skill cooldown and attack speed shrine. And also, you want to be able to scale your uh, your shit up with mana tech as well. Um, I'm going to see if there's anything here I want to delete. Uh, it would be a shame if this gets duped, kind of. But I don't want to get rid of it, obviously. So, we'll just full send. That's really good. But now we have Arson 5. I can probably get rid of that. <clears throat> I think we have Arson 6 right now. We do. <laughs> Oops, all Arson. I'm keeping it. I just wish for once I could get the fucking Curse Live Embers dupe, man. This run would go so insane if we got that, dude. Ugh. All right. Um, still don't have a partner skull I'm super stoked on. Still kind of waiting for that to happen. So, we're not basic attacking enough to justify that. I don't even think I dare with this. This is good enough to get rid of, take care of that for. Get rid of Arson on the pedestal. We can buy Mana Cycle. And uh, we need to find Mana Tech. Don't look like that's happening in this shop. Save our money, because uh, we're going to need it. Fine shop, I guess. Nothing too crazy happened, but... The mana tech's pretty important. Like, by the time we get to Act 4, we're definitely going to want to have some... Um, 
we're gonna want to have some level of mana tech. For the record, I am running Go Getter for Curse Live Embers. For a, I don't know why I thought this. For a long time, I like had like an internal fucking confusion, where I thought um, Arson Plus would deal item damage, and I was like, dude, Go Getter's so crazy with Arson. Um, but Arson Plus very likely deals status damage, which you can't increase with Go Getter, because there's like specific damage types in this game. Uh. I'm trying to think about all of them. There's there's item damage, skull damage, alternating damage, which is also skull damage. Skull damage is a very all-encompassing uh, thing. It, it encompasses like skill damage, um, skill damage. Uh, also, he's gonna try and beat me up. Skill damage, um, basic attack damage, and alternating damage. Like ev when you're talking about skull damage, all of those are included. And um, so I guess saying skull damage is like not necessary. So there's there's skill damage, uh, basic attack damage, alternating damage, which is swap, um, item damage, dark ability damage, um, status damage, crit damage. I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. Um, Inscription damage is not a thing. Inscription, any inscriptions that deal direct damage, that say, that aren't like rapidity plus, that says like this deals basic attack damage, they deal item damage. So brawl, that's item damage. Some people get confused on that. Um, and it's important to know these things so you know like how to build around your shit with the dark abilities. Um, Go Getter is one of the best uh, dark abilities in the entire game by a lot, and it's because it deals. Uh, it increase your item damage. Holy fuck. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I think when we swap, it applies arson twice. And if you remember what I said earlier, um, with uh, arson reset, the entire... Also, we will absolutely take this. Um, the entire like premise behind arson re uh, arson in general is like resetting the status because like all the effects like arson 4 for instance um, at the end of burn duration much like with the uh, curse live embers whenever burn ends that's when the effect happens but you can make it end early by uh, reapplying it so every time we swap arson applying twice is very powerful very powerful indeed now we're just going to be looking for uh the ability swapper so we can get flame flask and just full uh, send into arson here although it is worth mentioning that whenever we swap we uh, throw all those flasks into the air those can also apply arson from time to time if we're lucky i believe the flasks are random i know one thing we don't want this nitrogen flask i know another thing we need mana tech like yesterday please We are so fucking strong, though. Arson always feels so insane in rooms. Like, Arson is the room destroyer. He's back. Uh, we don't need it, though. Hurts to say it, because I do love that item, but... Indomitable Will. Uh, welcome, and then Sayonara. We don't need you. Got nothing against Indomitable Will. I don't think it's that good, personally, but, like, it's fine. Indomitable Will is a fine item. That is not fine, though. All right, that will easily be our uh, mana, type, uh, mana tech. What do we get rid of here? I don't want to get rid of my wisdom. Err... Uh... The Lunar Ring, but I lose Artifact if I do this. Wisdom 4 is more important. That is so much damage to just drop. But it is worth it. Actually, I can get rid of Mana Cycle. And buy Artifact. That's a little more reasonable. 
All right, cool. Gotcha. Scabbard. Yeah, I hate to see it. Watch this, by the way. Night and day difference. And we haven't even started scaling our Arachna Shrine yet. Just for the, the non-mage believers. Because I used to be a non-mage believer myself. Um, it took me a while to realize the significance of Mana Tech 3. Like, for a very long time, I thought mage was, like, a terrible skull. And I would... You can look at, back at my tier list and see me talk about it. Um, I put him in the bottom of tier list. Now he's, like, in my opinion, like an A tier skull. Maybe even S. I might have put him in S in the recent tier list. He is very good. But yeah, you just know, not got to know that magic factor for him. Same with uh, Dark Paladin. Just the, the itty little bit of uh, difference making. Or, like, it's, like, so weird, right? Like, he's absolutely just on the cusp of just being flatly good on his own. But then people see, like, the long casting animations and they're like, holy fuck, I'm stuck in place for, like, ten whole seconds while I'm trying to use one skill. How is this even slightly viable? And then you learn the magic of Mana Tech 3. And you're like, ooh, okay, now it all makes sense. Same thing with Dark Paladin. Other characters as well. I'm trying to think of them all. Uh, Davy Jones benefits a lot from Mana Tech 3. Predator. Ooh, Predator's a big one. He's another character where if you don't have Mana Tech 3, uh, you're just like... you. It's so much worse. The second you get Mana Tech 3 on Predator, he becomes a completely different character. And you actually kind of start to like the little guy. No, you're not getting me. If you ever Medusa your way out of a, a Frieza, you have to be careful to make sure that you um, get away. Like, just be, like, moving a lot. Because when he, when he uh, breaks free from the stun, he still tries to get you. And I've gotten got a few times like that. So just make sure you're, like, ready for him to come at you. I don't think there's any world where I use this. Because I'm not interested at all in taking any physical items. The only item that I think I would like with this... We haven't died yet, by the way. <laughs> the only item I think I would like with it is, like, Olive Tree Cudgel. Manatek Gravity Generator would be great, actually. That would be a good one. But we don't need it. I'm happy with my Broken Mana Engine. It's probably even better than that, because it also has the skill cooldown. That's Copium, by the way. <laughs> Because Broken Mana Engine is so good. Or a uh, Mana Tech Gravity Generator, I mean. I'm coping a little bit, but nothing wrong with a little copium, you know. A little copium to cleanse the palette. Never hurt anyone. I wish we had Flame Flask on our Alchemist. Uh, don't want to kill her, actually. We want to die here. I remembered. Don't worry. You don't got to scream at your computer anymore. I want to kill her, though, when she's actually about to die. I don't want to actually risk dying here. There we go. By the way, great example of how fast that shit can happen to you. Like, I didn't even think I was going to die there. I just walked through, like, a puddle of, like, goo on the ground and got shredded to pieces. Uh, oops, all garbage. No shocker here. Uh, technically, this is fine. Is it better than this? Yes, I actually think it is. Kind of, eh, maybe it's not. Because, like, we don't have skill cooldowns. It does give me mana tech, though, or mana cycle. So it's technically 25 damage percent. How much do I value that over the, uh... Oh, and we also do have skill cooldowns, but we can't really use this item effectively. We can't really alternate our skills too uh, easily. Um, I think I value this more. Maybe I'll end up regretting it. It doesn't work on Mage, and it barely works on Alchemist. Shyness for sure. 
And we will see about the fourth thing. Relapse is unnecessary. We're always applying arson anyways. We don't need it. We are kind of behind on bone shards a little bit. Um, thank God we have mana tech or else the mage would be utterly useless. Too many commons seen in uh, skull piles. Hopefully that changes. Give me a skull room, please. That's not a skull room. God, I love arson. <laughs> It's just so good. Hello? Aw, oh, bro. Do we have room for this? The crazy thing is... No. I don't think we do. My pedestals are... Artifact... And... Mana Tech. I could technically take artifact off, get rid of this, and uh, buy wisdom. I think that's probably correct. We don't even have enough fucking stacks for pot of greed to max out. What does this look like? It's an upgrade, although, like I said, we lose mana tech or wisdom, but we can get it back. Also, let's go up here and deal with these guys. Also, dupe potential nightmare scenario. <laughs> I really don't want to dupe here. I'm not even going to lie. Completely kill the run. The run actually would still be alive without mage. Because we have like the freaking swaps. Pretty good odds here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, that's a rare. Okay. That's still, that actually kind of sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, it's a legendary. Okay, that makes up for it. Wow, that is like the uh, the the weird odds room, I guess. Because the odds of seeing a unique from the remaining one here are pr pretty damn fucking high, and the odds of seeing a uh, legendary from a unique pile are pretty damn low. Hello. Uh, we're just looking for an ability swapper, and then we're uh, completely fine. So we buy wisdom for. And of course, purple flurp. Buy this, exchange the bone shards. And we're cooking. It's looking good, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm liking it. I'm liking what's happening here. Goodbye. This run's so sick. I love, like, the thing I'm especially enamored with is the swap apply arson twice. It's so cool. Silentist? Nope. No Dark Elite at all. Which is probably the best result. The Silentist Dark Elite is always cool to see, though. The fact that he still exists in the game is very interesting to me. Ability Swapper? Where the hell are you, man? Like, we can work with this Nitrogen Flask. We just, we want a Flame Flask. More Arson. Like, we're already dominating. Like, it's not like we need the Arson Flask, but I want it. Alright, this should be a fairly easy fight. I uh, don't foresee this going badly for me, but who knows? Especially this guy. He's got no HP. <laughs> Every time I'm... Okay, you know what? Every time I mock the fucking thief, he, like, does some fucked shit to me. So I'm... I'm not gonna... I fucking need to learn my lesson.
What the hell? Oh, he was frozen. We skipped the middle. Alright, nice try, Bozo. However, you do not... Uh, you can't take the heat. Stay out of the kitchen. Classic, classic. It's a classic line. Had to drop it. Alright, Alchemist. Welcome aboard the Legendary crew. We're about to get an item. Let's see what we get. Ah, my muse. I do love me a good old main of the Beast King. Can I get some skull rooms up in this bit, please? Can that be the ability swapper as well? Who are we missing? Spokesman of the Mist. Uh, I think we haven't gotten the Harpy yet. Uh, it could also be the Death Knight. That'd be the worst one. Hopefully it ain't the Death Knight. It's the Harpy. That's fine. Thank you, Harpy. Look. If only. Dude, it's just so much fun. And you guys know me. I love swapping. So, like, being able to apply arson through my swap. All these guys are dead up there, by the way. I didn't even think that would happen. I don't know why, but fuck that guy in particular. Just because he was standing there in the wrong way. He was looking at me funny. Rares. I don't need you right now. I need uh, uniques at the minimum. Please. And I'm about to stop saying please, too. You're making me mad. And that is uh, the NPC I forgot. Please be gone from my presence and never return. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's what's up. That is kind of what's up. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's really no item I could see here that even slightly... Well, this is pretty damn good. Um, I'm thinking... We have Antique, actually. That kind of makes me want to keep it. You know what? Maybe? This is skill cooldown on both of my characters, though. This is really good on Mage. Uh, I mean, uh, Alchemist. And it's pretty good on Mage 2. It also gives me Heirloom, which is redundant, because we have Heirloom 2 right now. I'm going to pass. Good offer. Very tempting. Also, this could be our Ability Swapper. It is! Although we don't have a lot of money to work with here. We're at that stage where the worst thing I can see is freaking plate armor. I'm ready for you, Mr. Uh, Executioner, sir. Alright. Give me Arson Flask, please. Thank you. Sometimes you just gotta ask nicely, guys. A little please, pretty please with sugar on type. You know? That's all I gotta do. Oh my gosh, please. Chill the fuck out, man. What's your damage, bro?
now there's no NPCs I really care that much about. Spokesman is nice. Uh, this is probably the last room. I don't think we're high rolling our doors. I actually didn't mean to place that. Oh, yeah, it's her. I mean, it's, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know what I take as my last uh, dark ability. Like I said, um, uh, on arson runs, uh, re relapse is kind of not worth it. Because as you can see, I'm just applying... <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking acknowledge it. As you see, I'm always applying arson. Like, they're pretty much constantly burning, so it's it's just redundant. It's not, like, terrible, I guess. It might be worth taking. Although, I might just take, like, weakness exposure. I don't know. And maybe I get offered a Giga Curse. If I get offered, like, Ambition, I can just sell Go-Getter and then re-purchase uh, it. Although, how much go getter? How does it even? How much does it even help me here? I know we have two items at least, three, four. So it's four. It's more than enough, uh, I think. This will be the hardest part of the run, as it kind of st stands to go in uh, status runs. As you can see, it's not a problem though. things nice no orbs for you Joan you are sentenced to no orbs because I don't like you it's as simple as that That was probably a mistake. Bye. She must have been on like no HP, loser. Um, this could be good. But once again, I run into the issue of, like, what wisdom would even go here. Really, this could go, I guess. The amp I get from this is way more worth than 25 damage percent, that's for sure. Antique 2 is fine. We're not going to get a lot of max HP. Maybe none. I think to max scale my skill cooldown and attack speed, I need to uh, to use every shard I have. But fuck it. I'm going to do it. Oh. What the? Oh, I must have had other sources. Yeah, that's acceptable. The, the amp I'm going to get from this is super worth it. Withered Hand. Uh, how much does that mean to me? We're not even dealing skill damage that much. I mean, Absolute Rule is in just fucking ab absolutely fucking not should be what it's called because it's terrible it's so so bad i can't think of anyone who wants this ever maybe warrior but even then god um i guess i need to think about what i take instead of this what would i want instead Hmm. 
Predicted Pain is more amp than this, but it's less consistent amp. And then there's always just like weakness exposure. But it's not going to be popping off that much. You know what? It's not really even that much of a tough decision. I'm just going to take it. It's extra 45 amp. Who cares? It's good enough. I have to play well here because, like, as you can see, we have, like, no extra max HP to work with. Literally just 160. Because we really got hosed on the bone shards. Thankfully, I don't really care because I got my uh, most important stats up, but... Now look how fast I'm casting. That shit don't even matter no more. There really is nothing here that could entice me. Ah, uh, maybe I'm lying though. I actually think Medusa's better. We already have consistent arson. Medusa is like a just safety it's warmth and i like safety and warmth what are you nope that'll do i guess buy the orb here's our kit it's damn good how good is it we'll have to see probably pretty damn good i don't think we're gonna struggle but, uh, like I said, that 160 max HP is a little painful. Um, we gotta be careful about that. But it should be okay. I just gotta play well is all. Little old me playing well. Who'd have thought? Let's see how it goes against a uh, regular hero. I'm gonna treat him with respect. I'm not going to use my uh, my Giga form on him. I'm going to save that for the Dark Hero. So we'll just beat him up normally. Here is where we uh, deal Giga damage to him. Oh, and I didn't even realize how good the damage was. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Oh, we got stunned. Uh. Okay, he hit me really hard there. I gotta be a little careful here in this. A little bit scary. Like, it was going giga well, and he, like, did 50 damage in one swing. Classic skull. Are you gonna move? Bozo. Respect. A little bit of a waste there, unfortunately. Oh, he's getting decimated, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Nuts. All you gotta say is nuts. Hopefully that happens to our pal, Dark Skull. We're now at max uh, Stone of the Air. What's our damage looking like here at the end? Without the Wisdom 4 buff. Eight ninety four, Not too shabby. That's good on a uh, Arson run. Now, the problem with Arson is about to show itself. Fantastic inscription, okay? Just giga damage out the wazoo. But you can't see shit, okay? It's one of the most awful scream spam inscriptions, period. It's definitely not new player friendly, even a little bit. 
Um, and this makes it so much worse. When burn is stacked three times, create an explosion of flames that deals magic damage. Immensely powerful. Immensely powerful. But if you haven't seen this before, you are about to be shocked at how fucking bad this is. Southpaw, I don't know if you know who I am. You probably don't. Maybe you do. I've been saying this for so long, and I will say it here. <laughs> can we please have an accessibility update, please? Where we can outline the characters, like in Dead Cells. Please and thank you. Like, outline your character, outline enemies with different colors. You know, you know how it goes. That would just uh, elevate Skull so highly. Not even for me. I don't need it. For the new players. I would still use it, though. I won't lie. Because sometimes it do be kind of crazy when you can't see shit. Yeah, we kind of just got that dog in us. Oh fuck. That's that's what I'm talking about. I just didn't even realize he was doing that shit. <laughs> Get out of my fucking face. I'm not gonna cast the uh, Giga form here, by the way. It's it, there is no safe moment to stand there and just cast your shit. So I'm just gonna uh use my uh, meter normally. This is especially bad, like, power form is when um, not being able to see goes really wrong. Because, like, he has some really dangerous moves that if you don't know he's doing, like, okay, I thought he was about to charge. He's charging now, okay. I can barely see it, but it's, like, just barely. Let's see if we can dodge this. Just fucking barely. Holy fuck. Going immediately into his uh, Giga ult. We have to dodge that shit twice in a row. But we can do that. No biggie. Little min max, or I guess a uh, pro tip, I guess. Um, if you uh, use your maximum amount of dashes, you can swap into your partner's goal and use their dashes. To like chain dash. Um, something I didn't even do until like semi recently. And I've been a SWAT player for a very long time. He tried it, guys. One good thing here is we guaranteed get the speed form. And if you are aware of my content, you know how much easy I find this uh, fight. He is very easy. Speed form as he literally beats the fuck out of me. Like. <laughs> like instantaneously you know what's funny guys we could take the rib of horror here we could it increases skill cooldown speed by 100 it's actually not even good here funnily enough um it's just funny that even when you have like a status what which is what this is built around you still fucking take the tibia because the tibia is just that good it's ridiculously powerful um if you have multiple statuses, you can start considering the Rib of Horror. Like, I've definitely taken the Rib of Horror unironically. And some status effects are better than others as well. Uh, the Poison one's pretty good. Uh, the Bleed one's pretty good. Freeze is good. Stun is good. I think only Arson is bad. And Arson isn't bad, but when you're putting it next to the Tibia, it's pretty fucking bad. Because the Tibia is the Tibia. You son of a bitch. You stinking asshole. You're just mad because you're going to lose. Mad because bad. Okay, well, we got to go through this shit now. Thanks for putting up your freaking pillars, man. Now you're wasting my time and yours.
Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you expected to accomplish there. Like, you're not gonna get me. You can try. It's kind of cute that you think you can. I, I should shut the fuck up, by the way. Because <laughs> I'm gonna get destroyed somehow by Alexander. And then I'm gonna feel like an absolute fucking idiot. I mean, he can fuck you up. Like, I find Alexander to be a very hard fight. Sometimes even harder than Dark Skull. Um, so... I don't know why I'm being such a chode. Sometimes you just need to talk shit, you know? Get out of your system. What is happening to this fist? Do you see all those damage numbers? Yeah, I gotta be careful, because this thing's, like, near the verge of death. That's a good example, by the way, of when to use the partner dash trick I was talking about. Escaping stuff like the rift is very useful uh, with that. Uh, he might die. No, somehow the other fist died first. Goodbye. Damn it, we missed the amp on this. I'm gonna stun him at the last second so I can skip the, uh, or get, get by myself more time to skip the debris phase, but it's not like I'm uh, skipping the debris. Oh no, I am. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think he actually just got stuck, I don't know. Whenever he summons to the laser beam, that's how you know the debris phase is about to begin. And that laser beam was gone for quite a while after, uh, after you, like, like I stunned him and was dealing damage to him. I don't know what happened there. It's probably not a glitch, but who knows? You never really know with this game. It's not something I've ever seen before now. Or if I did see it, I never noticed it. Alright, Mr. Uh, Sayonara. It's been real. I guess he's still going. Okay. A little bit of a fight in him. Now you're fucking dead, bitch. Orbs out of the orbs. Okay, that's kind of a dope windscreen. Can we admit that? It's like the orbs are shooting baby orbs. But the baby orbs are off the camera. Eh, you know. If only the orb there were more orbs. GG's though. Hell of a run. Arson's just dope. But, like I said, not new player friendly because of the fucking screen spam. Like, if you don't know what's happening intuitively, it's very hard to use Arson Plus. I just have so many hours in this game that, like, even if there's, like, screen spam and I can't see shit, I still know what's happening for the most part. Muscle memory and all that shit. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Excuse me. Um, Sorry about the burps, man. I'm burpo today. Um, Just, like... Mage is a very interesting character to me. Like, I've really disliked this character for so long, and I really imagine a lot of new players who pick him up hate him too. Especially on the Dark Mirror. Like, if you're in normal mode, I'm sure you can get away with the slow casting time. But, like, in the in the Dark Mirror, when everything that hits you, like, nearly giga kills you just instantly, you need to be mobile. So, like, a new player might, like... And I don't even know if this is true... Like, maybe he's fine in normal mode. I don't really remember too much about that. I know when he first came out, I didn't like him that much. So, maybe he's still bad in normal mode. Point being is, even if you like him early, you will play him later. And, like, you will instantly be like, "There's this is just unplayable. Like, he's stuck in place for too long. But, like I said, Mana Tech fixes him. And, obviously, you don't have access to uh, the Arachno Shrines until later on in the Dark Mirror. But, Mana Tech 3 is more than enough to make him usable. Um, and the Arachna Shrines just send him into the Stratosphere when combined with, uh, Mana Tech 3. As you saw there, I had no downtime between skill casting, and that is huge on this character. It's just essential, really. There's no way, there's no way around it. Um, so yeah, hopefully if you didn't know how to play Mage, you maybe know a little bit more now. Uh, very important stuff when you're playing this character. Same, like I said, with Dark Paladin, with Predator, all these characters. And I, honestly, one thing, like... I remember when I first realized that 
the like I there was like I just had like vague issues with the characters uh, way back in the day. But then I had the eureka moment of realizing my problem with the characters is their casting speed. Um, a lot of people have issues with these characters and they d can't even really pinpoint why. It's kind of the same thing with Gargoyle, honestly, where it's like people just don't like him, but they can't really articulate why. And it's not their faults. Um, cause these are like, kind of like deep cut thoughts about Skull, I guess. Most people, when they're playing this game are just like focused on like, oh my God, I got to kill the boss and win. They don't really think about like the mechanics and the deep intricacies of Skull. So this is a channel where we talk about that shit a lot though. So if you're a nerd for this game, you're in the right place. Uh, and also if you're new to this game, hopefully you can learn stuff from watching me as well. Um, I try and be as informative as possible. Um, and I'm always willing to hear people out who have like uh, questions and concerns and shit. So, you know, always feel free to voice your opinion. And that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.